our friends with disabilities are currently facing many challenges as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Many of them have difficulty accessing education, information, healthcare and services, and employment as well as entrepreneurship opportunities. We should all play a role in creating an environment with no negative stigma, no discrimination, and that respects, protects, and fulfills the rights of persons with disabilities. We must implement the ASEAN Enabling Master Plan 2025 and reflect on whether people with disabilities are included in policy, planning, and implementation related to recovering from the pandemic. We must work together to eliminate the barriers that our friends with disabilities still encounter for them to be able to fully participate in society. We, as a young people who have the capacity as change makers, should not remain silent and do nothing towards this situation. Therefore, I would like to invite all my colleagues, especially young people in Southeast Asia, to join me participating at the Virtual Agenda Regional Disability Rights Dialogue. The dialogue will be held for today on March 30 and 31, 2022, start from 8 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. Jakarta time. I invite my fellow young people to register to Regional Dialogue through this link featuring interactive workshops, live panel, and networking sessions. Our community will come together to discuss the importance of mainstreaming disability rights, inclusive economic development, and digital access for COVID-19 response and recovery in ASEAN. Let's together make these rights real for all our friends with disabilities by supporting the ASEAN Enabling Master Plan 2025 implementation. See you at the dialogue.